So hello everybody, Daniel here from the People Systems Store. Where is it? And we're here to bring safety to like every home, the house and neighborhood. And right now I'm going to show you the number one easy and fast way to set up your new Hikvision Wi-Fi IP camera. Either this, this or this type, it doesn't matter, but IP camera by the Hikvision tools and services. And this guide includes the PC and phone software that allows you to work with the camera. Straight to the point now. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Alright, so you bought the Equation camera and now you want to set it up and start working with it with like no extra help and you get no technician or the engineer skills. Alright, so you will need a three tools. The CADP tool, it will appear right here. It basically a device search tool allowing you to find certain defined devices within your subnet and to see the device status. And I left links on the official Hikvision download pages uh, right in the description for you. So don't hesitate just to go there and, and, and follow the links. The IVMS uh, 4500s. Well, the actual software we're going to use to set up the camera. There's also a way to use the web interface, but we'll focus on a particular method today. And also stay tuned. I mean, we're going to make, we're going to publish the DVRs and the MVR setups. And then afterwards set up a camera setup but in pair with the DVR and the NVR. And sure, this is an SV Studio software. As the Hikvision has a consumer-oriented sub-brand named SV, the Hikvision declares of a two-way support between the Hikvision and the SV services. And that's why we have the SV Studio program on our list too. And well, this is a very common entry-level software that you can use to access the basic CAMS functions. But a Hikvision camera setup process requires us to use the CADP tool and the IVMS afterwards because the Hikvision and SVS have a completely different setup processes. But after the setup is done, you're able to control all your cameras remotely, both via the SV Studio, the IVMS, or the phone's SVS app, HitConnect, and the mobile IVMS. And please don't, have, don't go to the next part until you got this software installed. Well, this is the basis. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna do, well, of course, you're gonna take the Kit 5 alien cable and just take the camera, yeah, in your second hand, and make it like this. All right, I know. Everyone knows, and then you see it writes with the, it lights with the red. So you gotta wait just a minute to set till it sets up itself, and we go to PC. We get to the PC, and now I have to open the CADP tool. I got it right here, and yeah, I got mine on, and I forget about it. All right, so here I find a camera. I in my subnet, I get two of it, and my is the one that's inactive because we have to activate it right now All right so we check here and here you go the cdp tool will ask you to activate the device to make a new password so create a password remember it should be a capital letter and not la and like more than eight symbols so there we go and one more time and be sure to check here we'll need this for cloud safe and here again make a password it can be the same i'm doing the same so there we go and then activating the camera there we go now we'll ask for this security questions I i'm not in mood to make this right now so <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. A, B, and C. Confirm. It's not the same. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, alright. Set this up. Come on, disappear. I got this. Yeah. Okay, here you can see the camera is active. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is to launch the IVMS. 42 thousands, hundreds, yeah, 42 hundreds. Okay, so yeah, the CDP tool just shows us the device status that we got in our subnet, so we can find them and we can activate them. Next thing we're going to, we are going to 
set up, well, the configure the camera itself. And for this purposes, we need this Vision IVMS 3200s, uh, which, by the way, you can get from the official website, and I left the links for you in the description as the official links. Right. Intelligent Video Systems. And, and there we go, and there we go, yeah, okay. So yes, so yes, I got my camera, I'm here already. So yeah, we better edit here, see, you actually may have to create an account here too, so just make it if it asks you. And yeah, here's a camera, it's active, we press it and hold and drag here. Nickname, anything, for me it'll be the standard admin and the password, well, you remember that password you got in the CAD, the tool typed. And press this, add, yeah. Oh, because I already got it. But still, you gotta do that. All right. So here's a camera, and we press the remote configuration and general to make a setup. So this is gonna be an actual camera configuration. I also want to show you the view. So here is it. Hi. Hi. Here we are. Here is my laptop with the camera. And yeah, it actually may ask you to install, it'll probably ask you to install the ActiveX driver. Uh, the link will appear right here, just press it, it will do everything automatically and pretty fast. Then it reloads and we are inside and you can see the same out here like I do. Right, but now we need this tab. There we go, we can full screen. And now the actual camera configuration starts here. And please note, this is a fast and easy setup tutorial. I mean, my goal is to show you the simplest way with no any additional features turned on. All right, uh, the first thing, oh, we're gonna go for our time settings. Yeah, yeah, select our time zone. That'll be where you are. If I'm right, yeah, there we go. Zoom to zero. And also check here. So the camera have the same time settings as the computer does. Yeah, not automatically. No, it says the correct time. All right. Be sure to save this all. Yeah, great. Be sure to set this. Now, what we do? We go to the network tab. Yeah, because we will set up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we need these advanced. And next thing we do, we get to connect to the Wi Fi, to RFI. Wi and also, uh, one more note here your rotor, your rotor has to work on the 2.4 G day. All right, so we find it. Where is mine? Where is mine? There we are, people. You can, uh, there, you choose it, and you go here, and you type a password. There we go. Yes, and then save. Yeah, this will appear here, but it's, the, but the status is still disconnected. This button also works as a refresh, and we have to wait a bit. It works still disconnected but I believe you and there we are we are connected so the first time so the first was the time now we got the Wi-Fi and what and what's the next thing so the video audio yeah you can see the stream type let me see what you need stream so video type uh, Depends on your depends on your camera, depends on your occasion. Video and audio, let it be. Yeah. Yeah, either the camera has a microphone or not. So this bar, yeah, this one right here is responsible for it. So 
Uh, if you don't have a microphone built in cam, we'll just skip, it's fine here. So yeah, choose the resolution and like j just, 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 yeah, everything is just, just right here. Press save. Well, I'm not sure you have to touch anything in the audio, but still. No, not right now, no. Now, the image settings. So, like, the image settings are totally individual. Here you have a standard sliders to adjust the image. You know, the brightness, contrast, saturation, exposure, it depends on your eyes, I guess. Uh, like, like, nothing special here. Yeah, now the event, the event tab. You can see the event. So here you take the boxes, both of the boxes, you turn this motion detect feature on. Uh, then you press the draw area, let it be here. If it captures movement here. And a sensitivity, I guess it would be perfect if it will be 80 or 800. Uh, like actually, the 80 is, is, is awesome. And safe. Yeah, so now if anything moves in this zone inside of it, you will be notified. Yeah, so this is how it comes and then press save. Yeah, sure. Now, uh, if you want to add this saved, be sure to make this and this checks and save too. And the final thing, a smart event. Yeah, a smart event. Yeah, so uh, if you have, if you want to enable the face detection enable and then make this, but if we go to the, well, the savings, yeah, uh, and, uh, well, schedule settings, the regular schedule settings, we're choosing, we're picking the event type, yeah, remember, we've turned on the motion detection event, so we delete everything, see it's empty, and if we go for the event, we can make this, copy, and paste it on the, all of the days of the week. So here you can see, now, if anything gets here in this area, something I'm gonna move here, I'll be notified like 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. But if you don't want, if you don't want it, and you just want the camera to record, to record like all the time, you just pick the continuous and draw a line here. And again, you can make this, this, and this, and set up all the days. Now the camera will be saving every like single second from the beginning to the day end and seven days a week. So, saving, yeah, and we're done. So, the phone apps are not actually intended for a camera setup and their purpose is to like let you view and control some of the cam's functions. But here I just want to show you what apps are compatible with the Hackvision cams like this, and that is the IVMS uh, 4500s, HackConnect, and the Isvis app will be right here. And I left the official links in the description too. Still, the setup requires us to use a personal computer with the programs or the web interface, the Hackvision's web interface, to make everything work. And like the phone apps here just allow us to use cameras functions such as turn and remote view and control, but not to set this up and you just have to use a PC. So, many Hikvision and XVS cameras and many other brands and equipment is available in the People System Store where you can get your special offer by just specifying that you came from Daniel as you ordered goods from us. And by the way, we are going to make much more install and setup videos. So be sure to like and subscribe and be tuned up. Thank you for watching. Safety to use the People Systems.